What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another 2-in-1 Elite Series 57 figure review for you guys. And this time it is Trash Corbin himself and the man Scotty Too Hotty, first time in the line. And that is very hard to believe guys because Scotty Too Hotty, near the end of the Attitude Era around 98-99, going into 2000, he was so freaking over, man, with Too Cool, him, Grandmaster Sexay, and Rikishi. they come out of the ring, they would dance. They're like the, uh, they're like freaking Rusev Day of today, man. Everybody loved them, and um, it was just great to see them. They were very entertaining. Scotty Tuhati was very underrated in the ring, very charismatic, unlike this piece of S over here. Trash Corbin, we're going to compare this to his other Elite because I want to know what it looks like. I do have this exact shirt from Ring Bling, and we do get the new money in the bank. Loving that color right there. Um, if you want to see what the back of the boxes look like real quick, guys, um, get some nice art of the man himself there. Um, there he is looking all goofy, but we get some little bio there. Same thing with Trash Corbin. Um, some more figures in the set and everything. Look at him. Just so stupid. But anyways, guys, let's crack these guys out of their packaging. If you would like to pick these things up, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10%. And you can pick up some awesome figures, so definitely hit that up. They're doing their Valentine's Day sale right now, so you definitely want to get on, in on that. And you want to use that promo code, so you can save a ton of money right now. Go over there and do that, guys. But let's go ahead and crack these idiots out of their packaging. And here we have Trash Corbin and Scotty Too Hotty out of their packaging, guys. And this Scotty Too Hotty figure looks incredible. The Baron Corbin details, not going to lie, guys. In the pants, it looks amazing. I wish they changed this body mold. They didn't give us the freaking sad belly button, which is disappointing. You know, his hairline, like, starts way back here, so that's inaccurate. But we'll cover that in just a few moments. But this freaking Scotty Too Hotty, guys, I can say... Early 2018 figure of the year candidate right now. Last year it was Enzo Amore, and he turned out to be on that top 10 list. Right now, Scotty Too Hotty is up there, guys. He is he is looking fire. He's looking fresh and all his swag camo and stuff. He always had the swag coming to the ring, though. But what we're going to do is cover Baron's accessories, then cover Baron Corbin. Then we'll cover Scotty's accessories and get into Scotty Hotty. Scotty Hotty. Scotty Hotty. Scotty Hotty. Scotty Hotty. I really just called this man Scotty Hotty. I really just called this man Scotty Hottie. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, getting into Trash Corbin's accessories. First up, we have his signature trash can because you know that he is trash. So you know he's got to come with his signature trash can, always with the trash can. But then he does come with his cloth t-shirt, which does look nice. I'm very glad that they gave us a cloth shirt. It is cut very nice as well. Maybe this is like the new thing. They're not just going to start giving us t-shirts. But they're, all right, actually, for wrestlers that have tank tops, they're going to give us tank tops. You know, we got it with Jeff Hardy and the entrance greats. We got it with the new upcoming Elite 58 D. Ambrose and um, now we got it with Baron Corbin so I guess um, maybe this is a trend maybe this will kickstart it and we'll only get these from now on but you know it's Mattel so I doubt it um, here we have a brand new Money in the Bank briefcase here I have some comparisons for you guys um, we have the gold one right here and I believe they're the same size yeah they are the same size so here's the one compared to the gold Here's one compared to the old blue one. It is beat up there. I think it molded that way, though. I think this came with Ziggler or something. And then here we have the uh, one that came with Damian Sandow. Or, uh, yeah, Damian Sandow. Um, I think this one's more accurate to the size of the actual case. I think this one's way too big. If you see what it looks like in real life, it's much more accurate to this scale. So hopefully in the future, I think the Chase briefcases, you know, with the new basics coming out, those Chase figures, we definitely need that to be the overall product. They need to shrink um, these down to this size so that way you know it's more accurate because they are not lugging this massive suitcase around, guys. So now that we've covered all of Trash Corbin's accessories, guys, let's cover Trash himself. Alright guys, so if we take Trash Corbin out of his signature can, um, we can see that this figure, um, the resemblance is pretty accurate. I think it does resemble Trash pretty good. I think it looks pretty much just like him, you know, that smug, ugly grin. I think the hairline needs to move back, though. The man needs to shave his head. I hate to say it, that's not even ripping into him. He literally needs to shave his head. It would look a lot better, I think, for the character as well. Um, again, the body mold's definitely not accurate. He is not that ripped up. Um, it would definitely help him out if it were. It would add to his look a lot more, but we know that his uh, pudgy belly sort of does that sad face. But um, his tattoos do look really nice. I am digging the uh, deco, uh, the deco that we're getting there. Um, in the pants, these pants look incredible. Not even going to BS. So as you see, guys, on the crotch, the belt is off-centered. We get some nice stitching detail there on the crotch. 
Um, the pants, here we go. See all this navy and gold put in there? I think this looks nice. They detailed all of this, sculpted in those patches and stuff. Um, I think they're really coming along great. You know, we saw this with the Elite 54 Bray Wyatt. You know, they stitched in all of that stuff. They sculpted all the stitching and buckles and stuff. So really, shout out to Mattel. You know, they don't always give us the crap end of the stick, but these this is a new leg mold. I want to show you um, a comparison with the older Baron Corbin Elite, but again, going down, the buckles all look good. The little pins and everything look nice. So I want to compare this to the older Baron Corbin Elite. So here we have a comparison between the brand new Elite 57 Trash Corbin and the older Elite 50 Trash Corbin. And to be honest, I think I like the older one more. I think this one's a tad too tall. Um, and I think the way they did this is um, the reason, look at that gap right there in the thighs, if you can see it. Um, they gave them ball joints and I don't think these legs sit up there enough and that's sort of where you get that little difference. But I like the way the, uh, the elbow pads look. I think I like the all black look better. And this shirt from Ring Bling, I think, is better, too. The decal and everything came out better and cleaner. But, you know, this new Elite 57 is a great figure. If you miss out on this one, you can uh, pick up this one, and you don't have to buy a custom shirt. You know, this comes with a shirt, so you don't have to worry about that. I just, I don't know. This one kind of looks like he's too skinny or something. I feel like this one's more broad, like Corbin in real life. This one just looks like a lanky version of himself, even though I am digging these pants a lot. So I'm not sure, man. It's, it's give and take. You either get the better torso, wider looking, better proportion here, or you get, you know, nicer legs. So I'm not sure, guys. It's up to you. But now that we've covered that, guys, let's get into Scotty Two Hotties accessories. All right, guys, covering Scotty's accessories. First up, we have his freaking yellow baseball jersey type open sleeve type deal right here. And on the back, it says Two Hottie, number two and then hottie of course it's not hottie two it's not scotty hottie two it's scotty two hottie obviously and this yellow color is very saturated i like this it pops off really nicely it does suck that it is rubber and it is not cloth obvious but it is nice that is the softer material it's not that hard enzo amore stuff that's like impossible to get on the figure i think this will be easy to go on and off and I think the yellow will match well with that camo. We do get some nice sunglasses right here with the red shades in there looking very fire. I think this is a new mold. I could be wrong, but I think this is newer molded shades, so those look fresh. And then we have this beautifully decoed camo hat, and it does have the hole in the top there for Scotty's hair to go through because you know he was always rocking that crazy mohawk style hair. And this is a great hat. I love the way this looks. Maybe we can get a flashback John Cena from early Ruthless Aggression era. Maybe cap this off and turn it into, you know, the first time he started rapping or something like that. But now that we've covered Scotty's accessories, guys, let's get into Scotty himself. And getting into Scotty too, Hottie, guys, if you grew up watching this guy, if you know who this man is, you can't tell me that it doesn't look just like the man. Like, my God, the hair looks amazing. Everything looks incredible. This looks like the host of a circus. That's what this hair always reminds me of. But the body mold is perfect. Blank arms are nice. I wish we got a necklace or something like that. When he was running around with Too Cool, I think a necklace would be perfect. But, you know, we do get a slew of accessories, so I guess it's fine. We do get these beautiful new camo pants, and they are looking fresh. We do get a buckle here, so it's not like jogging pants. These are official, like, pants pants, and they are looking very nice. It's like a neon greenish yellow color. Um, on camera, that is. Um, it's actually more yellow like the jersey in real life, but it is looking so nice. I love the way that came out. And here's my favorite part of the whole figure. Look at these shoes right here. It's like a tealish cover color with white outsoles. Those are looking so nice. It's like the Shane McMahon, John Cena shoe mold, but that is just so fresh. Just Scotty, he never disappointed, man. He was always looking so fly. But that is the Scotty 2 Hottie figure, guys. It is looking absolutely amazing. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. If you did, leave a like down below. Try to get this video to 250 likes. Also, leave a comment what you think of these two figures. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video for a special little clip I think you guys will enjoy. I do recommend both of these figures, but in two different ways. If you ever witnessed Scotty Too Hottie hitting the freaking worm, if you ever witnessed him dancing it up with Rikishi and Too Cool, you definitely need to pick this thing up. It is a perfect representation of Scotty Too Hottie in Mattel WWE figure form. And if you miss out on the first ever Baron Corbin Elite, I think it was Elite 50, you definitely need to grab this thing. You know, you get new pants mold, you get a 
solid head scan. I know there are some inaccuracies with the thing, but you also get a t-shirt and a freaking Money in the Bank briefcase. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this Baron Corbin. You know, you can, all, everybody has room in their collection to, you know, put him in the trash where he belongs. So, I definitely do that, guys. But that is going to do it. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Oh my god, I think Baron Corbin's going to cash in his money in the bank on AJ Styles right now. He gives it to the referee. He's about to go to attack AJ Styles. Oh my god, it's John Cena. John Cena's loaded him up. Oh my god, AA through the table, Brad. Failed attempt at the cash-in. All AJ Styles has to do is pin him. There he goes. One, two, three. That is it. Failed cash-in attempt by Trash Corbin.